turning the hat backwards. Now I know why Reed Timmer turns his hat backwards. Because it will blow your hat off. Okay, it's getting cold now. The temperature just dropped. Wow. There went my hat. Crap. Timmer down in Oklahoma, down where my dad lives. I know the area very well. We're watching him live stream, uh, driving around places. I'm like, oh, I know that place. I know that place. That's cool. And now I'm up here in St. Charles, Missouri. And once again, we've got some storms. So I'm going to go try to find some and try not to get hail damage. Uh, I'm doing a little storm chasing. That's the first time of the year. All I have is an action cam with me. So it's not going to be that great. All right. I didn't plan this out very well because I didn't, I thought they were coming later in the night and it's going to get dark soon and it's really terrible to chase storms in the dark. So what we got here is up to our north and west. We have some storms and I'm not sure what to do. If you notice here on the roads, they go east and west and not north and south, which really sucks. Looking pretty cool though. There's some uh, convection going on up into the north. Probably it's going to pop up something else. It's probably already part of this in here. Right skies ahead, I'm going, I decided to go east now to get ahead of this storm and behind me, quite dark, quite dark. So that would be north, northwest. I'm heading east to get ahead of it. Um, this is kind of a squall line. It's not like an isolated cell. So it's kind of hard to pick, to uh, find out exactly where to be. Okay guys, we've got us a quite a nice little whale's mouth there, which would be a very long, this isn't just a small isolated storm, it's a very long edge, leading edge of the storm. I'm that blue circle right there, and you can see the red part. This is radar scope, by the way, phone app. But you can see that uh, the leading edge of the storm, and I will let it swallow me up. Usually brings in strong gusts of wind, cold air, the temperature usually drops 10 to 15 degrees or more. And let's see. It's got to find a good position. Uh, usually the tornado is not in that part of the storm. It's usually in the back part of the storm, but of course you always have to be careful. We are looking at, that's Thieves Farm over there. We're in Maryland Heights, Missouri. Uh, the end of April. As we got a nice little uh, shelf cloud coming towards us. I'm going to be looking for any time of type of wall cloud, rotation. Anyway, I just wanted to say hi. Hi viewers, it's been a while since I made a video. It's very easy when the storms come to you. I'm not even in Oklahoma City yet. My daughter, I just watched uh, a storm hit my daughter down in uh, Miami, Oklahoma, where she is with her grandmother. And now it's my turn. So there's a huge line from Tulsa all the way to whatever, Illinois. I don't see any reports of tornadoes or... I don't know what those little circles are. Maybe it's... I have to find out what those little circles mean. The wind is coming. It's strange. The wind is going that way to the north. And that is coming at me this way. So the wind is coming behind me. You can see probably about eight miles, eight to ten miles an hour to the north. Maybe the storm is sucking that air into it. We'll just sit here and watch this storm come in. It's a beautiful storm. If you look up above, the whole thing is so massive, I don't know what's more interesting. It literally covers, oh, 50, 100 miles, 200 miles. It just keeps it going and going. It's like a, what well, they call it, a squall line, I think. And I'm sitting here looking at it. Just sit here and let it blow over us and not be by those power lines. It looks fairly dark here. I'm looking for any kind of wall cloud that might be underneath there hiding. I can't believe that I forgot my little temperature gauge, uh, my little anemometer, 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 that thing, the wind gauge thing. 
I can't believe I forgot it because right now I know the temperature is about to drop. It's probably about 67-ish right now. And I wanted to measure the temperature drop just, drop just for fun, but interesting how low those clouds are as these are pretty high. As we look up, getting very dark. My wife is over there about five miles where I came from and she said there was a huge temperature drop. So it's creeping along real slowly, real slow. Over there is the Hollywood Casino that used to be Harrah's Casino. Bunch of soccer fields, that is the, um, I can't remember, Veterans Memorial Bridge, I think. Highway 364 in Maryland Heights, Missouri. The colors are interesting. You've got lighters, darkers, and kind of a orangish, brown, dustish color and we're about to get swallowed up. I haven't heard any thunder. There's some dust devil out there. Some dust devils going on. I wish I had my good camera. I'm sorry about that about this action cam. Uh, the wind is starting. Okay now the wind was blowing that way as I said now it's blowing towards me. We have lightning over there. No thunder yet. Not one bit of thunder. The dust is kicking up over there. I imagine we're going to get quite a little dust storm here as that is farm field. And that's interesting. I have a tiny little dead cat on my microphone on this camera. Turning the hat backwards. Now I know why Reed Timmer turns his hat backwards. Because it will blow your hat off. Okay, it's getting cold now. The temperature just dropped. Wow. There went my hat. Crap. Just as I was bragging about that. Wow. It just got really cold. Dust is getting in my eyes. All right, we just had a big bolt of lightning and the dust was getting in my eyes, so I'm going in. I need to be able to look for possible uh, rotation and wall cloud. The whale's mouth is cold, my friends. The whale's mouth is cold. That's one thing I've learned about it. As you can see, as it overtakes me, I can't stand out there because the dust gets in my eyes. I need some goggles, man. But that is the whale's mouth overtaking me. Okay, so those little round things are hail. When I clicked on one, it said pea-sized hail. Uh, it wouldn't matter. My car is rocking right now. So I'm firmly in the whale's mouth now. And no rain yet. That is what passed. It's a good 20 degrees colder now. I actually wish I had a jacket. These clouds are kind of twisting and turning. That's going that way, that's going that way, that's going that way. Kind of creepy. I'm in a little bit of lightning danger right now. Boy, that looks weird. Almost like rotation right above me. This is disconcerting. Those clouds are going that way, the lower ones are going that way. I don't know if you can hear me. I had to get by the, behind the van, but these clouds are going that way and those are going that way. It's very strange and beautiful at the same time. The lightning has started over there. I don't feel the need to move because everywhere I go, it's just going to be the same thing that way and that way. I don't feel the need to move other than these power lines and I feel like I'm in a good position. I don't know what happens when lightning strikes a power line. No rain yet, no thunder, but the winds have really picked up. Okay, so late, earlier I put some Rain-X on my uh, windshield to make it beat up a little bit better to see out of it. And 
Um, the rain has started, finally. I want to be in my vehicle because it's colder, it's wetter, and lightning possibility. Um, clouds are low and strange. There have been tornado signatures in this particular squall line in various areas, just not around here. I'm not too worried about it. But the, the way these clouds are so low is very creepy. If we point our car to the north, you can see it's darker up here. Uh, it's going to be dark and bright and all kinds of variations along the squall line as I go north and south along with it. I'm not worried about tornado at all right now. Okay, as you can tell, it's gotten much darker, much quicker. It would still be that bright right now if it wasn't for this cloud. But now we are well into the storm, and I'm going to wait for the worst part of it because I'm not afraid of the storm. It's not that bad. It's mostly just red stuff. Mostly just red stuff. So I'm just going to wait a bit until it gets the heaviest and punch right through it. And show, we, show you what it's like to punch through the red part of a storm. Okay, we're starting to get some lightning now and some thunder. For the first time I'm hearing thunder. And I decided that's why I'm in my van right now. Let's take a look at where we are with the radar. Remember, if you can see it, I am the little blue circle right there. The red part still has not hit me. When it gets a little closer, I'm going to try to punch right through it. Look at the rain. You can see the rain bands down there. It's very interesting. You can see it's heavy right there and lighter back there and there. I'm the blue dot. I'm going to drive down south and then west and I'm going to punch right through that red part and see what it's like. Show you what it's like to punch through the red part. Whoa! I just got soaked. I thought I could roll down the window but the water came in. Alright, now I'm going south. Then I'm going to go west into the storm. Whoa, I need to slow down. My tires are not that good. Slide around a little bit. Now I'm heading west into the storm. I can't hardly see much. Really loud. I'm driving 50 and I feel like I'm going way too fast. I'm going to keep it slow. So now I'm having to yell. The water's coming down really heavy. Uh, the road has got is very thick and you, you can easily slide on a road if you're going too fast. That guy has his hazards on up there. And you just slow down. I've been in a million of these types of storms. You just gotta slow down. If you can't see, you gotta stop. I'm in the red part, the heavy red part. That's what it's, this is what it's like to be in the red part. The thing that happens after this is hail. Whoa. There's no rain. There's no rain. What's the problem? Ah! And the blue dot right there. We're basically in the chunk of this red stuff, which all it is really is just really heavy rains. And if I zoom out, it looks a lot like that. It's just a long line. Whoa. Dollar thirty-five for gas. Not bad. 
So this uh, app is called Radar Scope, and the reports. If you go to Mping, it's an app M P I N G, and you report rain or something or tornado or hail, it will show up on here. See those little tiny circles? Maybe that means hail. You can click on it. Pea-sized hail, and then these little things are rain or tornadoes or whatever you want. Whatever people report would be here. The Mping app, so once you install Mping, you go here, you select the report type, and you can pick rain, hail, wind damage, tornado. I'm going to pick rain, rain, and submit. And that will go into the National Weather Service or something, and it will be put on the map. So if you see something like rain or snow or hail or whatever, you can report it in the type and everything. Uh, that's a good way to report. Mping, M-P-I-N-G. So for me to continue on, I can continue driving, but it's just going to turn green and fade away. Eventually it'll fade to nothing, so I'm just going to go home and, and be glad I didn't get hail damage. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I liked storms, and this is the one that came by me, so this is the one we explored. Uh, much more to come. I will be moving to... Edmond, Oklahoma, North Oklahoma City, and hopefully we will be doing a lot more of these.